Hello, Parish family. To begin this video, I thought a general recap would be very helpful. We've covered thus far what I consider to be the more important introductory explanations or annotations as found in the beginning of St. Ignatius's spiritual exercises. These annotations are meant both for the retreatant and the director, that they might better prepare for and know what to expect from the spiritual exercises. We covered the presupposition, which describes the relationship between the director and the retreatant during the exercises. We've covered the principle and foundation, Ignatius's lens through which he sees the world, the reason for men and women being created, as well as the way God works throughout the world. We then focused on two methods of examination of conscience, the particular examine and the more general examine. The particular examine being used to root out particular vices, and the general examine being a prayer we might offer once or even twice a day that allows us to better see where God is at work in our lives in the day to day, as well as in those places where we failed to accept his invitation to growth and faith, hope, and charity. What Ignatius then invites us to consider doing is making what he calls a general confession. A general confession during the retreat is typically made at the end of the first week, but anyone is invited to make a general confession should they choose to do so. A general confession is a confession covering one's entire life. As early as he or she can remember their first sin to the present. It's best made by dividing one's life into three or four phases. For instance, one might consider from their first sin through high school as one phase and then college and any higher level of study as the second phase, and the third phase since he or she began work until present. That could be one way of dividing one's life into three phases. So we're called to be creative in how we might consider each phase, and then we're invited to sit for 10 minutes, for 20 minutes, for an hour, praying over and asking the grace to see our sins in each phase. So if we were to divide our life into three phases, we'd sit down three different times, examining the times we've sinned, even writing our sins down so as to better remember them. And then once we've completed praying over all of our sins of our past life to the best that we can remember with God's grace, we meet a priest and we read out to him our sins, making then a general confession. Once this is done, we have no need of ever confessing those same sins again. They've been forgiven, we're given penance by the priest, and we can start anew. And in this way, a general confession is a veritable exorcism, a casting out of our old vices and sinful tendencies, and an invitation to live renewed in Christ Jesus. If anyone watching desires to do this, I'd be happy to meet with you, to hear your confession, that you too might cast off your old self and be renewed in our Lord.